Hello, this is I Do Damage, and welcome back to the channel. In this Magic Legends video, I want to talk to you about the Battle Pass feature, the currency conversions, as well as the broker and how all of this will work within the game. If you don't know, Magic Legends will be releasing into open beta on March 23rd, 2021 as a free-to-play title. You can find it on the Epic Game Store, and I believe it will also be on the Arc Launcher as well. I'm super excited to jump in, but you gotta know that with a free-to-play game, there's going to be some sort of premium track so they can earn money, right? So this has been a topic that I've been kind of wondering about, and I'm glad to finally talk about it and shed some light on the topic today. Magic Legends is going to have quite a lot of different currencies involved. It is an MMO after all. In this specific video, though, we're going to talk about three main currencies that are going to exist within the game. The first two you can earn in-game, and that is Refined Aether as well as Gold. These each have their very own purpose, but then the other currency that we're going to talk about today is called Zen. Zen is the premium currency of the game that you can buy outright, or you can use Refined Aether to convert it into Zen. Basically, the way it works is while you're playing the game through doing missions, exploring, questing, whatever it is, you're going to be earning unrefined Aether that then needs to be refined before you can actually use it to exchange with other players for Zen. The way that this works is while you're getting that unrefined aether, it'll automatically refine into that refined state. But there is a limit. You can only refine 50,000 aether per day. If you happen to hit that daily limit, don't worry. You can still hold 2 million refined aether in a backup storage. So then when the next day rolls over, you know, it can convert another 50,000. Using this automatic conversion is going to be one of the main sources of obtaining Zen outside of just straight up spending money. There's also going to be an exchange option within the game. You can actually exchange Zen for Aether or vice versa if you want to. And this is an exchange that is totally player and community driven based on what people agree to basically. The way it works is you put in an order for what you want. You can say, hey, I want this much Zen and I'm willing to pay this much refined Aether. And then if someone sees your request and they accept it, they can go ahead and fill that trade. And then that's it, you've completed the exchange. I think it's really great to have a player and community driven market like this. Next, I wanna talk about Battle Pass. This was something that I knew was gonna be in the game and I was really curious to see how it was going to work. And to be honest with you, I'm pretty excited about it. So there's a free track as well as a paid track. There are 50 levels in total that you can gain from the Battle Pass, 50 different levels of rewards. You get Battle XP by doing different challenges and doing different quests within the game. The free track is going to contain cosmetics for your character as well as your summons. Also, some in-game currencies will show up on this track, spell pages and relic fragments, which are used for upgrading your loadout, as well as a new trait. Those are all going to be on the free track. Now, there's also going to be the pay track that I mentioned, which costs 1,000 Zen. Keep in mind, you can earn that premium currency Zen by the means that we mentioned before this. I don't know exactly how much money that will cost, if I had to guess, somewhere in the ballpark of probably $10, but... Don't quote me on that, it's just purely a guess. On the paid track, you can expect to find everything that you got from the free track, as well as character and summons, more cosmetics for those, a spell and an artifact. And this is where it gets a little sketchy for me as they say some other rewards. I don't think it's gonna be anything major, but I'm a little bit suspicious of what that's going to actually entail. And the fact that there is a spell on the paid track, I'm curious, is that is this the only way to get that one specific spell is through the premium pay track? I don't know, and I surely hope not. But knowing that you can earn that 1,000 Zen through other means, maybe it's okay, since you can still technically earn it without spending a dime. It's just kind of more of a speed-up mechanic, I would say, than a pay-to-win mechanic. That's pretty much how the battle pass is going to work, and it, yeah, it's probably worth mentioning that, let's say you're playing through the free track, and it gets like level 45 or whatever, and you're like, oh, I want to pick up the paid track. As soon as you pay the money and you, you pay that 1,000 Zen to get the paid track unlocked, you unlock all the levels that you would have gained through the free track as well. So you would have gained everything from level 1 up to whatever level you're at off the paid track, all in just by spending that 1,000 Zen. Pretty cool. Last but not least, we learned a little bit about the broker system. This is their auction house type of system. It uses the in-game currency gold that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. You can sell items straight to the broker. Whatever you sell to them will then be added to the broker's inventory for other players to then buy. 
I think this is a really, really sweet thing because it's kind of like the community is stocking the market. On top of that, instead of having to wait for someone to buy your item, you get the cash right away. So it's a really sweet system, I think, and I can't wait to check it out. One thing that's interesting with the broker is you do have to use these trade tokens in order to buy and sell on the marketplace. When open beta starts, you're going to be limited with 10 tokens a day. So one token you can use to complete a trade that could be buying or selling. So keep that in mind. Sounds a little bit limiting, but time will tell. You can only use 10 tokens a day, but you can hold up to 30 tokens. So if you take three days off, come back, you'll have your max tokens ready to do all your trading shenanigans. Another thing that's really cool about the broker is the prices on items do have a minimum and maximum rate that fluctuates based on the supply and demand of the market. Again, I think that's really great to make it feel like an actual world with an actual economy. So that's pretty much how the broker is going to work. But what can you buy on the broker? So when you go to visit the broker, you're going to notice that you have the buy and sell tab, obviously. But then you're also going to notice there's three more tabs. There are spell pages, world enchantments, as well as packs and unlocks. They break down each of these tabs in the dev blog. And I'll just give you a really quick overview so you can know what and why you would even want to go to the broker and use it. So over on the spell pages tab, you can use what spell pages are is they're used to upgrade your existing spells. So when you go to the broker, you cannot buy a new spell that you do not have unlocked. You're going to only be able to buy the pages of the spells that you do have so you can then upgrade your loadout. Over on the world enchantments tab, this is going to be more of probably the end game driven aspect. What world enchantments are is basically their ways to enhance the map and make the maps more challenging and more rewarding at the same time. Over on packs and unlocks, these are going to have more of a variety of items. They're mainly different booster packs that you can buy. And remember, this is all using gold on this broker. So there's different booster packs and they're unopened booster packs. So you don't know what's going to be in them. There's class boosters, choice packs. And one thing you got to keep in mind is so you open up this pack and let's say you get one spell or maybe a trait or an artifact that you really don't want to use. You can't resell that back to the broker you are stuck with that item essentially so i don't know how i feel about that but that's how it's going to work that's everything you need to know about magic legends currency battle pass and the broker systems the battle pass overall i gotta say this is probably some pretty good news i'm still excited for the game and i will be checking it out it seems to me, like I said, it's more of a kind of a speed up mechanic instead of a really a pay to win because you can earn all of this stuff. It just will take you a lot more time to farm and grind. My only issue and concern that I have at this moment is the battle pass and what some other rewards actually means. I was really hoping they didn't have like a class or anything tied to a paywall and it doesn't appear that they do. They do have that spell and artifact on the premium track that we talked about earlier. I hope it's just a spell that maybe we can find elsewhere. Otherwise that does teeter a little bit on pay to win in my opinion. That's pretty much it for this Magic Legends video. If you enjoy this video and all the content on the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, or ring that bell to get notified when I post new weekly videos. Don't forget to check out our upcoming stream playlist. So you can know when our next live stream will be. You can go in there and set those reminders. I look forward to having a chat with you there or over on our social media platforms as well. We do have the Damage Crew Discord, small but growing Discord community, as well as the Twitter. I thank you guys so much for your continued support. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.